High schoolers at Tottenville High School in Sat Staten Island are fighting back against the dress code there. Recently, there were a number of students that got detention after they broke the dress code. And keep in mind that it's been extremely hot in the area, so it's not that difficult to break the dress code. According to reports, um, after the school reportedly gave detention to 200 kids, 90% of whom were girls, or yes, girls, that was when the students thought, you know what, it's time to take a stand and to protest. So in an effort to protest, they're actually showing up to school wearing clothing that does break the dress code. So what exactly do you have to wear in order to break that dress code? Um, prohibited are tank tops, low-cut shirts, and shorts, right? Mm -hmm. And we're talking about shorts that don't reach fingertip length, which, by the way, that is not fashionable. That does not look cute. Mm -hmm. no, I'm like, like let's your, keep your it shorts? real. Let's keep it real. None of my shorts are fingertip length. That, mm -hmm. That's just not hot. I, I don't mm -hmm. even know if they make shorts like that, right? That's not shorts. Oh, so you're saying I, I don't don't know, know the fingertip rule or anything like that. Yeah. That these shorts you think are perfectly acceptable. Like the longer shorts would be so unhot that nobody would wear them. Yeah, and also look. Obviously, there's bounds of reason. I'm not saying like, oh, do the cheeky shorts where you see the bottom of your butt. But I'm talking about like. Just regular shorts and how they're made. And okay, so let me give you an example. Fingertip length is is this. This is what they mean. So oh, basically, where the end of my finger is, right? Yeah. Shorts are usually like right there. Uh huh. Okay. I think people are having fun with this example. Okay. <laughs> so that the, that is right there. Too short. That's too short. So that would get a detention. You know, they're called shorts. Yeah. Okay. All right, so here's the reason why this is problematic. You guys are probably wondering why we're talking about it. The reason why they have a dress code is because they say that they don't want any distractions in class. So what do they do to the girls who do wear the shorts? In sweltering heat, by the way, they have them wear uh, a big baggy gym shirt and big baggy gym shorts. And so they pull them aside, tell the girls your outfit is inappropriate, shaming them in some way, right? Mm -hmm. And then having them wear a ridiculous outfit that lets everyone else in the school know hey, she was dressed inappropriately, she was dressed in a skanky way. Right. That's a little more of a disruption than letting, ha than letting a girl wear a pair of shorts that are perfectly fine. Okay, I'm actually more split on this story. I'm gonna pull yeah, out Grandpa right Jank come a little on. bit here. Okay, mm -hmm. come on. Okay, so number one, I understand the point that the uh, girls are making because yeah. it's over 100 degrees and some of the classrooms don't have air conditioning. Mm -hmm. So like, what do you want us to do, right? Yeah. Come in in a burka, right? It, uh, so I get that part. On the other hand, they say, like, some of the people fighting back against this say that they have no business talking about how it's distracting and the clothes can't be distracting. Well, what if she came in no shirt? That's going to be distracting. I know. Okay. But again, you use so, human judgment. Yeah, Yeah, bounce of reason. Mm -hmm. Now, the principals and the authorities here are drawing, drawing the line in a place where maybe we wouldn't draw it, mm -hmm. right? But they are the principals, and that's kind of what they're supposed to be. They're like wet blankets or like, oh... A lot of the, I'm sure parents don't like the skimpy clothing. On the other hand, then they could have made sure their daughters didn't wear it. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. And so now that I'm a, a dad, I'm like, well, daughter's wearing the skimpy clothes, not so much in favor of it. <laughs> There's Grandpa Jank. But, um, but look, there. I mean, I get the principals do it every once in a while. I, look, they probably would have been better off just leaving it alone. Uh, yeah, look, there was but a there are, But there, you can violate the bounds of reason, yes. and some of those shorts probably were too short. Yes. Look, I was in s schools with dress codes, right? Especially in my middle school, they were very strict with dress codes. I wore shorts all the time. No one gave me a hard time about that, right? Because they're shorts. Mm -hmm. It's not that big of a deal. And, and the dress code specifically targets what girls want to wear. So, but then that's the other thing. So they say, oh, no, this is discriminating against girls. I see that it affects 90% girls, so that's obviously yeah. a powerful argument. The flip side to that is if a dude came in and he was sh uh, wearing shorts shows so short that you were seen as nutsack, believe me, they would have also made him wear other clothes. I know, but there's no indication that these girls are wearing shorts so short that you're seeing private parts or areas. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and guys look, don't I, wear those kind of shorts. And, so. and, and also, and I think it's insulting to both boys and girls, right? Because mm -hmm. it's letting the girl think or know that she's perceived as someone who's scantily clad or who dresses too provocatively. And it also makes it seem as though these boys can't control themselves. If they see a little bit of skin, they're gonna like lose it. Mm -hmm. You know? And so it's everybody just calm down. This is more of a distraction than anything else, right? Use human judgment. If someone is dressed too provocatively, I think you know as an adult. Don't have like a hardline rule when it comes to shorts. Okay, my final ruling on this is that I need both sides to become. Principals, don't hand it out to 90% of the girls or whatever. It's not 90% of the girls. People affected are 90% girls. Um, 
On the other hand, if you got your butt cheeks hanging out, understand that the principal is going to come by and make you wear bigger shorts. Yeah. Calm down. Am I not merciful? You're, you're very merciful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, but for don't get me wrong, adult women wear as short shorts as you like. Have at it, Hoss. Okay. Am I not merciful? 